I think a lot of people, I've learned this. I didn't ever think about melanoma cancer very much in my life. It wasn't, it wasn't anything that I thought was a big deal. Um, or I thought, okay, they can remove a mole. It's nothing. It's just no big deal. It's just something that's easily done. I didn't realize it's the number one killer of cancer. And the number one cancer killer. It's a very tricky little cancer because your body doesn't distinguish the cells. It doesn't understand that there's a cancer because it doesn't see it because I guess certain proteins are, I don't know the scientific, you know the scientific part better than I do, but it's, it's hiding. It's like a backdoor cancer. It hides. It doesn't let your body know it's sick, that it's got a tumor, that right. it's got something. And where I was in the growth of this tumor, it was beyond just going to the dermatologist and removing a mole. I then had to enter into a full operation and where there was a cancer the size on the outside of like a dime, it became a six inch incision on my, it, it's like a cheekectomy, my left butt cheek. It, they took out all the tissue uh, down to the muscle within a six inch parameter there. And the, they also had to look because the lymph nodes um, that that area drained to were in the front growing area. And there were two, two lymph nodes that they had to remove. And one of them, unfortunately, had cancer in the lymph node. So it spread beyond the tumor and that's a metastasized cancer. So that's scary. It becomes a stage three, they said stage three B. That's changed from stage three B to three A through more uh, diagnosis, but whatever. It's in the stage three realm, which means the metastasized realm and that it could spread and uh, even more beyond that. 